Good morning, JCPS community. I come to you today after making one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult, uh, decision of my superintendent career. And that was to cancel day two and day three of the school year, Thursday and Friday. First and foremost, I wanna take this opportunity to apologize for last night. First, I wanna to apologize to our students. I know many of you had to wait on buses or wait in your school for several hours. And I truly apologize for that. I know how unnerving and unsettling that must have been for even our youngest students, but all of our students, and we truly apologize to you. I apologize to our families, our parents. I know what, as a dad what that must have been like, how unnerving that must have been waiting for your child to get home and not knowing exactly where they are or were, and I truly apologize for that. Our bus drivers, I know you're working so hard. I apologize to our bus drivers. We've put a lot on you in this change process. Uh, I know you are working hard. We apologize to you for the difficulties and challenges you faced yesterday. And finally, our school personnel for having to stay with our kids for multiple hours after school to make sure that they got home and trying to answer questions the best you could. I apologize to all of you for that. And the difficult part for me, it was a great day in our schools. I saw some incredible instruction, kids excited, families excited, new school buildings, and to have it end with the transportation disaster that we had last night um, was truly unacceptable. And once again, I apologize for that. I had to make this decision today because we have to get better. I can say that change is hard and it is. The massive change we are undertaking is extremely difficult. But in the end, that can't be the excuse. We have to be better at what we are doing. And once again, I'll say this, that lies squarely on my shoulders and my team's shoulders. It is not on bus drivers, it's not on the school, it's on me and my team, and we are going to fix this. We are gonna take the next four days to make sure we work extremely hard to fix the errors that are in our transportation system right now. But I have to make sure our kids are safe and we will not have a repeat of what happened and we will not be in school until I know we can get kids home safely. So here's what we're gonna do over the next four days working around the clock. First and foremost, we are gonna be reviewing all bus routes and all bus stops over the next four days for efficiency, making sure that, that we get all students to and from school efficiently. Second of all, we're gonna be having our bus drivers have extra days, we're gonna pay them extra days to practice their, their new routes, which is a big challenge, I understand for them, but they need more practice with this. We're going to be improving our communication structures between families and schools and us. And finally, we are going to dramatically increase our call center 485 ride over the next four days so that we can answer all questions for families and do the best we can to solidify all bus stops and make sure that when we come back to school, we are efficient uh, and safe and getting our students home safely. I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much. And once again, I apologize for the challenges.